Bonanza, that followed the lives of the Cartwright family. They lived on the Ponderosa Ranch in Nevada. Adam, Little Joe, Haas, and of course Paul came into our lives every Sunday night from 1959 to 1973. Bonanza was one of the most popular westerns on TV, second only to Gunsmoke, and ran for 14 seasons with 432 episodes. During its first season, Bonanza's ratings were respectable, but not anywhere near Blockbuster. It was on Saturday nights at 7.30 against pretty stiff competition, with ratings champ Perry Mason coming out on top. NBC execs considered canceling the show, as its production costs were high. But since it was one of the first series to be filmed and broadcast in color, NBC's parent company, RCA, wanted to use the show to try and sell their color TVs. When NBC moved the show to Sunday nights in its third season, ratings really started to take off, and Bonanza finished the season number two in the ratings. It would stay in the top five for nine consecutive seasons and reach number one by its sixth season. Lauren Green, who played Ben Cartwright, started out his career as a Canadian World War II reporter. He delivered the news on the CBC in Canada from 1939 to 1942. That got him the nickname of the Voice of Doom, as he delivered bad news with a booming baritone voice. He started to get bored of his character on Bonanza and was ready to quit the show in the first season. According to Green himself, he wasn't happy with the show's direction and felt that his character wasn't being developed enough. In Lorne's own words, we had done 16 shows and all I was saying was get off my land and quoting the Bible, which was how the part was written then. Green then went to producer David Dotort and told him that he wanted out of the show. To make his star happy, Dotort had the writers come up with an episode that gave Green's character more to do. Green then stayed on and became one of the most well-known and beloved characters on the show. Michael Landon, who played Little Joe, had a little secret. He was self-conscious about his height, so he wore platform shoes on the set. Landon was 5'9", but his shoes made him a whopping 4 inches taller. Even on his next series, Little House on the Prairie, he used this same trick to make himself taller than the rest of the Ingalls family. Lauren Green and Michael Landon had a tense relationship on the set at times. Even so, they were both professional and able to work together, even though Landon was a perfectionist and wanted things done his way. Some people claim that Green believed he was being upstaged by the younger actor. They grew closer over time though, and any conflict they had was eventually resolved. The role of Adam Cartwright was originally offered to Guy Williams, but he had already taken the lead role of Zorro for Walt Disney on the ABC network. Williams eventually got to play Will Cartwright, a nephew of Ben Cartwright, in season 5 of the show, and was considered as a replacement for Adam Cartwright as Purnell Roberts was making noises about leaving the show. When Roberts decided to stay on for the sixth season, Williams accepted the role of Professor John Robinson on Lost in Space and wasn't available when Roberts finally left the show. Purnell Roberts finally left Bonanza after the sixth season because of creative differences with the writers. Roberts wasn't happy with how his character, Adam Cartwright, was stagnating so he left the show to try new things and stretch his creativity as an actor. Even after he left the show, Bonanza was so popular that it went on for another eight seasons and stayed one of the most popular and successful Western shows of its time. Roberts went on to have a successful career in theater, TV, and movies, but his role as Adam Cartwright on Bonanza is what he is best remembered for. Dan Blocker, who played Hoss Cartwright, was known for his distinctive voice and his imposing physical stature. He quickly became one of the most recognizable and beloved members of the Bonanza cast. He played Haas for 13 seasons, from 1959 to 1972, and his character was seen as the heart of the show. It's also a known fact that Elvis Presley was a big fan of Bonanza and Westerns in general. He liked that the show had strong morals and family values. In fact, he even had his picture taken with Lauren Green and Dan Blocker. Bonanza was very expensive to shoot, so the cast wore the same outfits in every episode. It made it far easier to reshoot the scenes, use stunt doubles, 
or shoot scenes for multiple episodes at the same time. In Dan Blocker's case, he wore his oversized Stetson hat to his audition as a joke, but when the casting crew saw him in the hat, the joke was on him. They loved it and had him wear it for the rest of his time on the series. Now we all know that some of us guys tend to lose our hair as we get older. That was true of the Cartwrights too. As the years went by and the actors aged, three of the actors started wearing hair pieces to disguise their baldness. Michael Landon was the only one who was blessed with a full head of hair and didn't need a toupee. But when he started turning gray at a young age, he started to dye his hair to keep his youthful appearance. Nothing wrong with that, we're all human, right? Now another issue that came up after a while is that some of the cast were unhappy with their contracts. They felt that with the success of the show, they were being underpaid. Well, that's pretty typical in the entertainment industry, especially with a ratings blockbuster like Bonanza. Even though the main cast were among the highest paid actors on television, they still felt that their salaries were not equal to the level of success and popularity of the show. They were still able to work through their problems and make a quality program week after week, producing one of the most successful TV westerns of all time. Many famous stars appeared during Bonanza's 14th season run. Leonard Nimoy was in an episode in the show's second season, and so was Adam West, both well before the roles that made them famous. The very first episode of Bonanza guest starred Yvonne DiCarlo, who was already known for her movie roles, including her role in The Ten Commandments and well before her TV role as Lily Munster. Other stars who appeared on the show were James Coburn, Buddy Epson, Sally Kellerman, Jack Lord, Tina Louise, Dawn Wells, and Ron Howard. Now, it was difficult being a woman in the Old West because of the harsh and dangerous living conditions, but it was especially dangerous if you hooked up with one of the Cartwrights. On Bonanza, all of the women either died, were killed, or were left to be with someone else. Ben Cartwright himself had three wives who died, and each one of his sons were born to a different wife. Little Joe got married in the first episode of the 14th season, only to find her murdered in the second episode. That storyline was originally written for Dan Blocker, but on May the 13th, 1972, the unthinkable happened. Dan Blocker died after gallbladder surgery at the age of 43. Cause of death? A pulmonary embolism caused by a blood clot in his lung. In the fall of that year, the writers of Bonanza did something very unusual. They referenced the death of Blocker's character in the show. This was the first time in the history of television that a show would deal with or even mention the death of one of its main characters. The details of Hoss's death weren't mentioned, but in a later show, Bonanza The Next Generation, one character said that Hoss drowned while trying to save someone else's life. Without Dan Blocker, one of the show's favorite characters, the writing was on the wall for Bonanza. By the fall of 1972, NBC moved Bonanza to Tuesday nights and brought back an old character and added a new younger one to try and revive interest in the show, but it was too late. Bonanza's ratings continued to slip and the show was abruptly canceled in November of 1972. Many fans, including both Lauren Green and Michael Landon, felt that the character of Hoss was essential to the show, and when Blocker died, too much of the heart of Bonanza was lost. Lauren Green went on to play other characters, like Commander Adama on Battlestar Galactica, and also narrated Lauren Green's New Wilderness from 1982 to 1987. Green died on September 11, 1987, in Santa Monica, California, at the age of 72, after contracting pneumonia following ulcer surgery. Michael Landon went on to star in Little House on the Prairie for eight seasons until the show was reformatted as Little House, A New Beginning. He stayed on the show as executive producer, director, and writer in the final season, but didn't appear in another episode. After Little House, he starred in another successful program, Highway to Heaven, which ran from 1984 to 1989. Then on April 2nd, 1991, while on a ski trip, Landon started having a severe headache. Six days later, he was diagnosed with an aggressive type of pancreatic cancer. 
He appeared on The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson a month later on May the 9th to talk about his cancer and vowed to fight the disease. He also heavily criticized the tabloids for their inaccurate stories and sensational headlines. On July the 1st at 1.20 p.m., Landon died with his wife at his bedside. He was only 54 years old. Pernell Roberts went back to theater after he left Bonanza and played many different roles. He also guest starred in different TV series throughout the 1970s and finally came back to TV in the title role of Trapper John M.D. in 1979, which was a spinoff of the popular series MASH. The series lasted seven years and 151 episodes and earned Roberts an Emmy nomination in 1981. Roberts died on January 24, 2010, at the age of 81, from pancreatic cancer. He was the final member of the Bonanza cast to pass away. I think it's amazing how much people still love this series and watch it in syndication. It just goes to show you how talented and hardworking the cast and crew were. Even though they had their differences over time, they were able to put it all aside and keep putting out great shows for all those years. It's really something to admire. But now it's up to you. What do you guys think? Were you a fan of Bonanza? Do you have any favorite memories or favorite episodes of the show? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, I would really appreciate a thumbs up and maybe even subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. This is Rich from Rerun Zone. I'll see you in my next video. Well, the claim we hold is a good as gold bonanza. Our birthright, the name card right, the Ponderosa Ranch. Ride along, four men strong together.